So I'm actually running late today. Let me grab my coffee. And I was like, what am I gonna do? Normally, that's fine, but I shared that with you. And so like, I have felt so responsible. Ugh, okay. Like it's always the worst stickers. You know what I mean? Josh is at the fire department today and apparently I felt the need uh, to talk. I actually have some really exciting news. Welcome back to the vlog. So I'm actually running late today. Let me grab my coffee. I am leaving to go on my, I guess it's technically like bi-monthly walk with my friend. It's something that we started earlier this year. <laughs> Basically, twice a month so every other week we go on a walk together um we meet up and we go on a walk and it has been amazing because do you have those friends that you want to see all the time and you're constantly making new plans and then it constantly doesn't work out and it's just it's almost more of a headache to try to plan something than to not i have several friends um it's actually like all my friends we struggle with that because we all have our own things going on and so Something I started doing at the beginning of this year was scheduling a consistent day. Um, so for this friend, it's every other week we go on a walk together. Um, I have another friend who lives farther away. And so once a month, we already have it on the calendar. And basically, instead of a can you do this day, it's you let the other one know if you can't. And so it's really awesome because there's no thinking involved. You just automatically have that day together. Anywho, long rant over. I'm running late. <laughs> if you cannot tell, I really need to, I really should have made some toast or something, but um, yeah, that's what happens when you're running late. Uh, now I'm gonna make some toast because I'm gonna get hungry. I can't talk and, and do things at the same time, but toast is made and we are running out the door and we're gonna go on a little walk. That was such a nice walk. The weather cooled down over the weekend. We actually got like a little bit of a cold snap and it has been so nice to not like bust into sweat every time I walk outside. Um, so yeah, we had a really nice walk. And so I stopped down the street from our walking path and got myself a coffee from the little local coffee shop. And there's actually a farmer's market that is just a few miles away from our walking path that I had no idea was there. And I've been hunting for like over a year for a farmer's market that I can go to consistently. Um, so we're going to go try this one out and see if it's what I've been looking for. Okay, so that was actually really cute. It's not exactly what I'm looking for. Um, I kind of want something smaller that actually has like all the veggies and has um, like different meat options, maybe some herbs. Um, but this is definitely better than anything I've been able to find. Uh, I got some purple sweet potatoes and I got like a whole basket of them for $5. And then I got this gorgeous mom and it's huge and i've not seen such a pretty color on a mom especially not at stores and it was only five dollars and so i'll consider that a win it's definitely worth kind of like hiking over here after our bi-monthly walks so yeah i'm pleasantly surprised by that and now it's time to go home and maybe decorate the front porch with the mom i just got okay so yesterday i got back from the farmer's market and me and josh kind of just dealt with some things that we've been needing to deal with. And I apologize if you hear my arrow garden, it's running water in the background. So if you hear like a buzzing or water running, that's what that is. But anyway, 
yesterday me and him were handling some stuff but he's at the fire department today and I have things I need to handle and I actually just got this in um which is very exciting well actually not really it's not really exciting but it's exciting to me because this means that I can actually edit a video for you I have not been able to edit at all this week because I went to go edit and my computer was like uh there's no more room for any pictures or videos or anything and I was like, what am I going to do? And so it was finally time to get an external hard drive. This is it right here. I got a four terabyte one. So that way it will hopefully last me a very long time. Um, but yeah, so earlier this week I went to go edit. And it went and let me upload the footage. Which means I've had video footage just sitting there and I haven't been able to edit it. So... I quickly put this on <laughs> on order and I was just waiting and hoping that it will get here as soon as possible um, so that way I can actually edit some footage for you but um, yeah this tiny little thing it's heavy but this tiny little thing is going to help me anyway I got carrying case for it too because I want to just be able to keep it safe in like my computer bag oh that's so nice and then it just fits right in here and then my little cord fits right in this little pocket like I said <laughs> you probably were like that's not exciting at all but to me this means I get to edit videos for you again so you should be at least a little bit excited I also have a, another thrive market box that I need to open quickly um, that came, I think it came yesterday. We already broke into it for the um, groom crackers again. Like I said, those things are so good. But I need to actually unbox all of it now and start dinner tonight, which I'm gonna do a crock pot recipe. So my friend hosts a annual Crocktober Facebook group. And it's a completely free Facebook group where she shares like tons of amazing healthy recipes. I'll, I'll link it for you because it is so good. And I saw one last week that I really wanted to try. And when I went to my grocery store, they didn't have some of the stuff that I wanted for it. So I ordered it off of Thrive Market instead. I actually want to unbox that and start that recipe. Like I said, we already broke into it to get um, one of our boxes of the uh, graham crackers. I ordered four of these this time because I have quickly we went through them. Plus, when you order, I think it's three on these. If you order three or more of these, they give you cash back or like Thrive Cash. So it's legit credit for your next grocery run. And we were going to order them anyway. So, um, yeah, so I ordered a bunch of these. But what I was really excited for, so the recipe that I'm trying to make for the Croctober is called lasagna soup. And I personally like a gluten-free or like clean ingredient noodle. I'm not gluten intolerant. I just think it's really funny how you can get like a rice noodle. And it's literally just brown rice flour and water. Two ingredients versus like your average noodle has like you know, 20 different ingredients in it. And so that's why I personally prefer gluten-free noodles, not because I have an allergy, but our grocery store doesn't carry lasagna noodles. So that's what I got from Thrive Market. And I'd be willing to bet that it's a better price than what our store would have had anyway. So I grabbed two of those. And then something else that I got for this recipe was a clean ingredient like more organic marinara sauce so I just got Thrive Market's organic classic marinara sauce yeah it's got one two three four five six seven ingredients all of them organic so um, and this is the same price as a jar that I would buy at the store but I guarantee the store doesn't have as good of ingredients so personally that's what I think Thrive Market is like really good for. I've seen like a lot of people getting into Thrive Market and then they'll be like, oh, it's the best price ever. 
Not necessarily. It's only valuable if you personally are prioritizing clean ingredients. Otherwise, I mean, you may have some good deals on there, but the real value comes from the variety they have on there. Like I said, I wouldn't be able to find these at my store, even though my store carries this brand, they don't carry the lasagna noodles. Same thing with like the marinara sauce. Like we only have like a few brands. And so that is where Thrive Market is really valuable. So um, I just wanted to clarify that because I have friends ask me about it. And depending on the friend, depends on whether or not I think it's actually really valuable for them just because I know like you know if they prioritize that or not and if it's actually gonna save them money but this oh I wish our store carried this so it is the buffalo sauce from primal kitchen so it's super clean ingredients but it is so good I love putting this on um buffalo or buffalo it is buffalo. I love putting it on cauliflower and then pairing it with sweet potato. I know that sounds so weird, but it's like the sweet and spicy. So good. I've been buying this for a long time and Thrive Market has the best price because otherwise I have to go to our local Publix and they're just more expensive on everything. <laughs> and then our Walmart doesn't carry it. So another amazing reason, but um, this stuff, oh, it's so good. My mouth is like watering thinking about it. Organic dates. I love dates and peanut butter. Like, oh, one of my favorite snacks. So, like, this entire bag of dates is only $9. And it's a lot of dates. And at my grocery store, the non organic, so these are completely organic. The non organic, you'll get like a box this big for like $6. And it's not even organic. So, like, that's where the price difference is like. So much better. Anyway, um, the last ingredient for the recipe that I want to try was actually bone broth. And this is an organic one. So this is Thrive's brand. And so this was Thrive's brand too. Um, and so is the sauce actually, now that I think about it. Um, so they have like their own store brand and they usually have way cheaper products, but theirs are usually organic. So like that's where it comes in is like you basically get a new online grocery store that's organic. So I got chicken broth because you're supposed to put this in with like your veggies and your sauce and everything for the lasagna soup. I'll show you. That's my little spiel on Thrive Market. I promise I'm not going to talk about them in every video. I've just been on a real kick again lately and like I said, I'm so excited to try this recipe that my friend has in that Facebook group. Oh, it just looks so good. Um, so yeah, I just thought I would share my little haul with you. And I also did want to clarify, um, in case you're thinking about it, who it's actually really valuable for because it's not for everybody. And like, you're not going to see the money savings or, or like the benefit of it if you're not someone who really looks into ingredients and isn't crazy about it <laughs> like I am. Um, but if you are that person, you've got to get on Thrive Market. And I'll definitely leave my referral code in the description again so that way you can save 40 percent on your first order who doesn't need nearly half off of a grocery order these days because money is tight so anyway now that i have the stuff to make this recipe i need to put up this stuff and then actually start it because it's supposed to cook for like seven hours and it's already like after lunch time and i was kind of wanting to eat this for dinner tonight so we am gonna be cutting it a little close um i'm sure my friend is not gonna be happy with me for that but um, we're gonna try, oh, and I just realized I didn't thaw the meat. That's a whole nother issue. Let's get that out right now. I have so much of this packaging now. They use like recycled materials or like all able to recycle materials or something like that. It doesn't matter because I'm gonna recycle it anyway. And if you see this paper in your upcoming candle collection order, yes, you did. I mean, that's, I've been collecting this stuff all year so that way i can package up your candles safely so even though they're gonna come in a pretty box you're gonna be surrounded by just reused bubble wrap paper newspaper it'll be a surprise and then i'm gonna put a pretty little piece of tissue paper on top and it'll come in a pretty little box but it's going to be packed in there with whatever recycled stuff i have so just know that <laughs> Okay, while I am waiting on my meat to thaw a little bit, I actually have something else I want to unbox and get into the washer dryer. So the story with this is 
I needed new sheets and bedding for our bed. And if you've been watching the channel, uh, I think this is before the vlog channel, so if you've been watching the main channel, then you know earlier this year I actually got new sheets. And I worked with a company on it, and I love them. We were planning on actually buying them for when we did our guest room. Love them, and I shared that with you. And I've really kind of just been fighting myself over that for most of the year now because as the year has gone on, I find myself reaching for our old sheets. And you would think I'd be excited for the new sheets. And so it got me thinking and I was like, I feel like I should really want to put the new sheets on the bed. And if I don't, what does that mean? Like obviously I don't like them for some reason. But I don't have any complaints about them. Like, I couldn't tell you what it is that I don't like, but I just don't find myself using them. Um, which, to me, tells me I don't like them the same way. And so, normally, that's fine. Like, that's a me problem. But I shared that with you. And so, like, I have felt so responsible and so guilty over sharing that. And even though at the time I shared it, I loved them. I really did. I loved the first impression. We had already used them a couple of times. Like, we had already washed them a couple of times. And we were really liking them. And it's just really weird that as the year went on, I got where I just didn't want to use them as much. That being said, I determined it was time to get new sheets. Because this all started because we needed new sheets. We only had the one set. So, I would just wash and wash and wash and put it back on the bed. It gets zero break. And so that's what the new sheets were supposed to be for. And here I am again, just washing the same sheets over and over. So we needed new sheets. So I ordered some and I'm gonna show you what colors I got cause that's fun. But I'm not gonna share what they are because I wanna make sure that they're actually really good first. You know, I, I don't know. I just feel so bad because I take it really seriously sharing stuff with y'all like when I share Thrive Market I've been using Thrive Market since before I even had my first YouTube channel same thing with like my skincare that I've shared I've been using that for the past four and a half years with things that I share with you I want to be obsessed with them you know I don't just share everything and I get stuff all the time like I get emails almost daily and nothing big no big brands because i'm still a small channel but i get emails almost daily to share cheap lamp or this cheap set of outdoor furniture or this you know miracle foundation i i only share stuff i would actually use so like that foundation first of all i'm not really a makeup girl anyway you know that second of all i'm really big into non-toxic stuff so like i'm not going to use some random no name brand cheap foundation on my skin and I'm definitely not going to tell you guys to use it so like I obviously didn't do that brand deal when it came to the furniture it looked super modern super cheap that's not how I do my home I thrift stuff for my home I believe in longevity I believe in quality and I'm not going to share that stuff with you anyway I'm tangenting on all that to say I feel really terribly I apologize if me working with that company influenced you to make any kind of buying decision because that's a lot of money and I take it really seriously especially when you know like times are tight right now and like that's an expensive set and so if I'm not even happy with it I just I'm just beating myself up over it to be honest with you so all that to say I got a new set of sheets I'm going to try them out for a long time <laughs> and if I like them and if I'm obsessed with them then I'll let you know what they are, obviously, because if I'm obsessed with it, like, I'm gonna let you know. So, I got white for the pillowcases and the actual, like, fitted sheet and the, um, like, regular sheet. But, I got this beautiful, and it's really, it does not come across well on camera at all, but it's called Warm Gray, and this is the duvet cover. And I'm really excited because it's like the perfect grayy color, which I think is going to work really well in our space because it can go either to the gray side, which I have like a lot of black that I use, or it's really warm. So like, I just think it's the perfect neutral, um, but it wasn't white. Otherwise, if I didn't have a black dog, I would 100% have like a full white, like hotel style bed. But that is not my reality. I have a black dog who sleeps in the bed 
like a baby. No lie, wake up in the middle of the night and he is under the covers with his head on my pillow looking at me. <laughs> and it is just, it's crazy. So anyway, my comforter, my my duvet cover, they all need to look nice while holding up to that, to like real life. So anyway, I feel like I've been kind of ranty today. I apologize. That's, that's my fun unboxing. I think this is a pretty color. Um, and once I get it in the wash and everything and actually get on the bed, I'll show you. Yeah, that's my little, uh, unboxing, uh, today. And I'm going to stop now, start my soup, and then we're going to move on to fun things. Candle things. That's our recipe. So, it's one pound of grass-fed ground beef. So we need salt and pepper. Salt, garlic. She says two diced garlic cloves. Um, I'm a little lazy for that, so I'm just gonna throw in as many scoops as I see fit of minced garlic. Um, marinara sauce, chicken bone broth, the lasagna noodles, uh, one yellow onion diced, and Italian seasoning. And the yellow onion. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and dice the onion first, I think. Because that way it will be ready to toss into the crock pot. Also, I do not know the proper way to like dice an onion. I know there's like you're supposed to cut it a certain direction, whatnot. I, I don't know. I usually just like hack off whatever I need of it and I've never needed a full onion so I'm kind of just going to go for it. Um, and you can let me know the proper way and um, you can teach me what I should have done instead. So, I have a feeling this is about to kill my eyeballs. The eyeballs are starting to water. It's happening. It's happening. I'll tell you. Maybe you may have noticed by watching enough of my vlogs by now. I feel like I possess some skills. Like, you know, I'm, I'm creative. Cooking? <laughs> Cooking is not one of them. I've ever used a whole onion on any recipe in my whole life ever go ahead and um, pause the video and go to the comments and drop me all your advice because I cannot whoo, go through that again okay thank you it's appreciated in advance all right let's move on oh I'm such a wimp. Okay. All right. Beef in the crock pot. Ugh. Okay. All right. She says salt, pepper, and Italian seasoning to taste. Wow, I just got the weirdest deja vu just now. Like, beef in the crock pot talking to y'all. Weird. Okay. Italian seasoning. And salt, so this is that Redmond's Real Salt. Um, and I've actually been really happy with it. I need to get like a, a little pinch pot or something so that way I don't have to do this every time, but yeah. Um, okay, she says break up, break up the meat. This is probably where I should have uh, let it thaw a little bit better. Okay. Add in the onion and the garlic. Girl likes some garlic. I don't know how to cook, but I know garlic makes everything better. <laughs> I did say 
say one yellow, yeah, one yellow one. We're in the jar of marinara. And the box of chicken bone broth. Now, I specifically asked my friend because, again, not a cook, um, because she recommended the chicken bone broth, but it's a beef soup, and so I was like, is there a reason why we're using chicken instead of beef? And she said that you can totally use a beef broth if you would like. It's just a stronger flavor, and that the chicken is more milder for, like, soup, like broth. So, that was her explanation, and I'm going to take... Oh my gosh, y'all, I am making such a mess. I'm going to take her wisdom with that. Well, that was easy peasy. And so you wait to put in the noodles until later. So you let it cook like this for like a long time is what she said. And then you put in the noodles like kind of at the end um, so they don't get like overcooked or anything. Um, but yeah, that's super easy. I'll show you what it looks like right now. Um, and you basically put it on low for like seven hours and you just let it marinate and do its thing and then it should be done and ready so super easy crock pot recipe i'll let you know how it tastes but it's super easy so if you need something for your family this this looks pretty good kind of smells pretty good too y'all my eyes are like still watering and burning but i'm gonna clean up um from this and let this start cooking and then like I promised you, then we are going to get into some candle fun stuff. I, I can't even wait. Let me, I'm not even going to clean yet. Look what I did this morning. This is the first tester candle. So I did the winter breeze scent. If you are not a part of the female club, go join. I just shared all of the new scents coming and it is like the freshest little combination of lemon orange and balsam fir so it's like very wintry but anyway i'm letting this one sit and i i did a tester candle because i want i wanted to try something that i saw so if you got a candle from me last time i hope you love them i hope they're burning great but the testers that i did they worked very well but some of them depending on your vessel just depending on like how evenly it burns around the edges it would like not burn as evenly as I would have liked, but that's kind of the nature of soy wax. And I really wanted to keep it as non-toxic as possible. But I saw that if you mix in a little bit of coconut oil, like a little bit, that it may help stabilize it. And I have to tell you, I don't know how it burns yet because it's still kind of setting up, but the top of it is setting much smoother than any of the others that I did last time. I'm getting very excited for the candle collection. I hope you are too. So make sure if you haven't already that you join the B-Mail Club because you're going to get first dibs. And that first dibs is a full two days early. And if it's anything like the last collection, I know like anyone selling says this, but like legitimately, I opened my last collection to the public early because I was scared that the public wouldn't get any because the VIPs almost bought out the entire collection um, in the first day. So if you're not a VIP, you probably want to be on that list if you have any interest in the holiday candle collection. But clean all the vessels today. So you're going to get like a little mini preview of all the vessels. And I mean, if you watch the vlog in the channel, you've probably already seen some. But we're going to look at all of them at the same time. But I just need to clean first. So let me do that and we can go back to candle fun. Two thirty, three thirty, four thirty, five thirty, six thirty, seven thirty, eight thirty, nine thirty. We'll try it around eight. We'll do like a late dinner around eight, and hopefully it'll be mostly cooked. Alrighty. Let's go grab our candles. Y'all, I have so many. Um, 
it's going to take me forever to clean, to be honest with you. I don't even know if we're going to finish them all today. Um, yeah, let me just show you. So this whole half of the table here, um, and they're like all stacked on each other too. So like this is like four or five of them. Like I said, my goal for this collection was to get about 50. And I think I wound up with just a little bit over 50. So that's really exciting. Um, that means that there should be plenty to buy Christmas gifts um, for like you, a friend, family, anyone like that. So my camera died while I was talking because I've ranted so much in this video. So I apologize, even my camera's mad at me. But I have a question about the candle collection. So while it was dead, I kind of gathered them all over here and started taking the tape and the stickers off. I thrift the vessels. They are empty when I get them want to fill it with a scent and then you not like the scent that I paired with the certain vessel. So when I sell them, I sell them empty and once you purchase them and pick your scent, then I custom make it for you. So that being said, would you want me to put an empty vessel option where maybe you want to DIY your own candle? Please let me know your thoughts on if I should add that option or not. Um, but I just thought it'd be fun. A lot of you have been asking if I want to show how I make candles. Like when I'm making them uh, after it launches, I'll probably do a vlog of me, you know, like making the candles. It's a very easy DIY. And so I just didn't know if maybe you wanted an empty vessel option. That would obviously be less expensive than a filled candle option. Just a thought. And I'd just love to know what you think about that. And just an idea that I had. But now I need to start cleaning them. I've already started taking the tape off of some of them and the residue is crazy. Um, like I am gonna have to bust out the lemon oil, especially on a couple of them. I don't understand why some people put like packing tape and like the worst stickers. Like it's always the worst stickers, you know what I mean? Anyway, but let me show you a little preview cause I moved them all over while the camera was dead. And this is what we've got. So, it's mostly some really pretty glass. Um, and then we've got some brass. Actually, we got one brass. This one's super pretty. And this time is new. I actually have a few ceramic pieces that I think are gonna be so cool. I have some white glass. And then I even have like some Christmas options. So that's super cute. And then I have one more Christmas option back here. It's got little trees on it. So just like a pretty big variety. Um, I have a few that are, have a, like a matching lid. Um, so yeah, just like a variety of shapes, variety of sizes. So there'll be a nice like variety of pricing as well because the price will reflect how long you can burn it for. So like the larger the candle, the more wax in the candle, the more expensive it will be and vice versa. So like the smaller the candle, the less wax, like the less time that you'll be able to burn it, way less expensive than the others, if that makes sense. I'm just procrastinating cleaning now and I'm tucking your ear off again. So I'm gonna clean these candles a little bit. So the next step after cleaning all of the candle vessels is actually photographing them to go on the website. And speaking of the website, I actually have some really exciting news. I have been working behind the scenes on building out a brand new website. So I don't know if you've been on my current website, but it's, it's there. <laughs> it's honestly it's been something that i've kind of just pieced together over the years um it's the same website i've had since i started a blog it's been through a lot and it was time it was time to 
design from scratch a proper website for us, for this community, for the new blog, for the shop. And I am so excited because the new candle collection is actually going to be on the new website. In fact, when you're watching this, I will have just launched the new website and it is live and ready for you to check out. And there's more. As a part of the new website, something that I really wanted to do was to create a free gift for you um, that you could access at any time. And so I actually took my Simply Falling art print and now it's totally free. And so you can go on the website right now and download your free art print. And I'm just really excited to share it with you. I think it'll be fun for all of us to have like matching art prints, um, add it to your gallery wall. Cause I think we all share a really similar style. And so um, I'm really excited with that addition to the new website. Um, it's gonna be a place where all of my discount codes are all gonna be one place. And I don't know about you, but I like to pinch pennies. And so, and so, you know, thrifty, thrifty girl here. So anytime I want to purchase something, I always remember, oh, so-and-so had a discount code. But on YouTube, it's so hard to remember which video they talked about that discount code in and then to find it in the description. You know what I mean? And there are actually a few bloggers that I follow. They have a specific discount code page on their website where all of their discount codes are listed in one place. And I was like, I love that. It makes it so easy for me when I'm actually thinking about it to go find it. And so I wanted to create that for you. So I hope that you enjoy it. Please go check out the new website. Please download your free art print. I'm so excited to give that to you. I apologize for chatting your ear off. Um, Josh is at the fire department today and apparently I felt the need uh, to talk. So thank you for being my friend and talking to me. Um, get excited for the next candle collection. Go get your free art print on the new website. Explore it. Let me know what you think. And I will see you so soon in the next video. Bye. Okay, dinner update. Really good. Definitely try it out. Definitely go find my friend's Facebook group. Totally worth it if the recipes are like this.